both kind of stem from their experiences of the 2011 Fukushima nuclear disaster. So the first film that we're going to see here is called Kaya 100, and the group in 2011, soon after uh, the disaster, they went to the Fukushima radiation zone, and they, as a group, kind of let out these 100 sort of military charts, and it's kind of an expression of hopefulness that Japan can actually recover from this horrible disaster when no other society wanted to talk about it. And they're all sort of huddled in this like radioactive zone, shouting kind of banalities and exhaling and shouting and using that as a kind of cathartic exercise. And then the second film is a neo based performance artist called Aki Sasamoto, who sets up these incredibly intricate, very theatrical, sort of object based theatre productions. And what we're showing here is from an exhibition she had at a sculpture centre in New York called Delicate Cycle. And recently she's been turning her installations into filmed performances to camera as well. And she sets up these kind of ridiculous scenarios for herself and uses gesture and uh, physical action as a spur to go on kind of tangents about her life and it's sort of crass and philosophical and highbrow and lowbrow all at the same time and very kind of meandering and very deliberately theatrical. Uh, straight after that is another piece by Jim Palmer it's called Black of Death and it combines footage from 2008 and 2013. In 2008, uh, one of the members rode a motorbike around the streets of Tokyo holding aloft this plastic crow and it had the effect of luring all of these crows from across Tokyo and it's a comment on kind of the polluted cityscape and what they did in 2013 after the Fukushima disaster is they then decided they wanted to update the work and then they recreated the piece through the Fukushima nuclear zone as well to kind of draw attention to the fact that the area is still devastated but no one can see it and uh, the final film is by Larry Kozumi, who is uh, a filmmaker primarily, and he focuses a lot on Japan's very complicated military history, and this film is a very close-up interview piece called Track Words, where he interviews a survivor of a bombing in Mirashi in the early 50s, and it's a really intense close-up piece where this elderly man tries to recall kind of the horrible things that happened to him with his eyes closed and we just stare at his face while he recalls some of his memories. Uh, so, very diverse uh, films, but I hope you enjoy. Thank you. <coughs>